is Estathena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker. Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim, set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain dead pigs, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. This is your fault. You are the victim. All the mortals are made in the born workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble. Burn with jealousy! Cheat! Fight and murder! They're cruel, vindictive and selfish! And let the heel of Achilles! These witnesses will be their undoing! I have no such flaws! The rest have fallen! Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded coxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans, convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no! Not one of your stories! How long is this going to- My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers, returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a throng. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle. But I'd seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Don't tell me. Has a beard.
body like uh, this. Body like this. The color of stirred yogurt. Tan like me at the beach. Face like a face I you can see in my an mind. Face. The color of unripe grapefruits. A sharp bird. Hair like uh, a waterfall on the cliffs of Santorini. Burning, just burning. <sighs> Eyebrows, thick as Narcissus, thin as Tantalus, the color of month old table wine. See her clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name! Phoenix! Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. The only way off this beach is up that cliff. Phoenix saw her captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, 
But I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just zealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Logogos! Logogos! Can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Legiron, where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. My brother's sword! No! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the Hallowed Sword, a gift from Achilles for bravery and battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in battle. Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just say. Phoenix looked up. She was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! She readied her sword for her first real fight. Felt her training come into focus. Should be able to survey the land from up there. <laughs> this is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone. This young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No, this is important for the sense of atmosphere. <sighs> Hermes is my old friend. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers. Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. Yeah! <laughs> what is this? It smells like honey. And the first day of spring. And my first kiss. All rolled into one. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please! She can't use it anyway. Yet. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus! 
I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo! If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? They aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. to get down the pollen Phoenix felt Ligiron's blade with every step its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility you gave him your blade oh Achilles I, I meant to ask why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles Oh, uh, as an offering. Just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. of Hermes, the luck-bringing messenger of the Immortals. He consorts with all mortals and immortals. Little he profits, but through the dark night, 
He continually tricks. That's nice. Who wrote that? My favorite poet. Yes. Who just happens to not have been born yet. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to her. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. Must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Who knocks 
open my door. No one? You think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, said the Cyclops to the sailor. Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. Time for you to help me against Typhon. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. was this strange what? place? It's Tartarus. Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix was in ta Sure. I hate you! But aren't you intrigued? No. Keep going. ran her hands over them, noticing that several pieces were missing, as if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work. If they even work. The Axe of Atalanta, deadliest of hunters, swiftest of heroes, fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change her into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. I need to stop drinking.
A bolt of my lightning! Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! Oh, really? Zeus's lightning bolt? No way! <laughs> Power surged through Phoenix. It was too much for her to bear. What's happening to me? Bye-bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet... This is just the beginning. Uh, ah! Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? Stranger I was chasing. Where did he go? With the wings, she would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk. Ooh. Maybe it's cursed. Lagiron was here. He's the famous hero, not me. What am I going to do? Put the fiends of Tartaros to sleep with storytelling?
bearing Charon's mark. Typhon stole those too? Yes. Charon was saving up for a bridge! Glimmering. Maybe if I sneak up on it. in drawings. They can't be. Ah, but they were. Heracles, mightiest of mortals, slayer of beasts, defied Hera and accomplished the impossible wearing those bracers. And now, they belong to Phoenix. Through dumb luck, After boldly besting the Gorgon that ambushed Heracles. What are you doing there? That thing with your voice? Heracles? Yeah, that! That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Seems like a lot of work, but well, it's your funeral. Except I can't die. Don't <sighs> remind me. By the gods! I feel like I could lift the mountain! <sighs> if only those bracers could move this way. <sighs> Hades alive! You two, get a room!
I get in. into that vault. I'll save you! I promise! So let me get this straight. Instead of heating up the Temple of Apollo to speak with the Oracle, Phoenix yes. is hightailing it after this stranger? Phoenix, truly a good person, sought to help the mysterious stranger. But she never lost sight of the fact that she was getting ever closer to the Temple of Apollo and the solution to the terrible curse inflicted upon her brother and fellow soldiers. Oh yes, remind me to erase my own faults with narration. Zeus, truly a good person, murdered his first wife by getting her to turn into a fly and then ate her. Wait, that's what happened to Metis? I thought she was visiting her sister in Babylon. Oops.
power requires more than deft footwork, little one. Let's see if you have control. Who are you? Show yourself! Targets seemed easy enough to hit, but the third would require the focus of a master archer. Forget it! Kids today play seashells. They skip rocks, stare at the wall. You know, they're hyperactive. This from the god who thinks a weak constitutes a long-term relationship. <laughs> Keep that steady hand, little one, and you might just survive. Armed with the agility of Achilles, the speed of Atalanta, the wits of Odysseus, and the strength of Heracles, Phoenix was ready to face whatever the future had in store. That's it? That's all she has going for her? Pha! Good luck! Merely at the Oracle. The desire to save her comrades and brother hardened Phoenix's resolve. Ah, too easy. <laughs> There's something wrong.
Phoenix saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be her greatest battle yet. Oh, I hope the stranger dies. <laughs> <laughs> If I had wanted to hurt you, I could just as easily come and stab you back there. True that. So, I'm going to go. Phoenix. Unique name. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo to see the Oracle. Me too. Ha! It's right over there. Oh, great. I can use all the help I can get. We should go to... Hey, where did you go? My bracers! That rotten little thief! I saved you! I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then... What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A circus performer? A magician? I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow, that's a real, <laughs> that's a real question. I don't know. It's a mystery. Well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you, the Oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The Oracle here turned to stone, but the smoke here is something else. <laughs> do you think sand? is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? Uh, have you seen that little guy with golden hair? No? Uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said the go twice. <laughs> But you still haven't left! My brother was turned to stone and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me. And all you can do is laugh! Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle? Oh, oh, on your way out. Can you pick me up something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain. 
Huh? Crowned with flowing locks is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind hurdles aid, go on the attack. And sooner than later, change them all back. A parallel of seas, forge fires lit. A wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown, hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Whoa. Now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird how prophecy ends with I see, but in this case I don't? You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So? We good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. They didn't like my... <sighs> We don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... Uh, don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. Uh, okay. But about what you said earlier... And you're gone. Okay. Well, got to figure out how to get past that barrier. path before Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. Cargo goes to die.
As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, her thoughts turned toward her mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Ford, couldn't help a but... huge monster appears! It's ginormous! But Phoenix just left. <laughs> So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect! The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything she had prayed for to take her mind off her worries. It was a gift from Olympus she would treasure forever. Deep within her vulnerable, yet ever-expanding Ah, fine! Have it your way! Just don't make me vomit! Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. Yeah. 
This was Aeolus's jar. I thought it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind. That's impossible. Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower. The planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what, never mind. wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it.
As Phoenix continued her journey, she couldn't help but wonder if her story would one day be told amongst the stars. Hermes always says, the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night.
Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again, Icarus. And these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too, all these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that. What it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartaros. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <coughs> what? I didn't kill Icarus! Daedalus' faulty wings did that! And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out. Eventually. We're preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Damn. Not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thief! You thought you could escape me? I told you, it's a problem! Tweet, delivery boy! You do not deserve the crown you were given! We'll take you down, Typhon! Just like before! We? <laughs> there is no we! Not anymore! Phoenix! No! Open your wings! I can't! I have you now!
Okay, we need to get to safety. Stat. What was that monster? Typhon. Not the Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus' wings. The Daedalus, the great inventor. So? So they didn't work right and killed his son. He'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes! I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jawed thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that, Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to her true destiny lay stretched out before her. Wait! That was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus made it home faster. She's about to jump. Be quiet and listen.
What was that? A pathetic army of demigods can stop me!
The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. <gasps> this is... incredible! It's all right. Could use some updating. The column motif is a bit laid out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I've got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered, until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn these life-false gods to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final, desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of God's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost, So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. <sighs> this is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck! I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. 
Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix Thick. What would my brother do? Ligiron with him. Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices! Wow! I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever try to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? Get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh. Still better than visiting the dentist. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the Underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly.
You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The Aramantine she'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. That wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No! Where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot.
Phoenix stumbled upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, as Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry, which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing?
The Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Eros's palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! Muse, tell me the deeds of golden Aphrodite, who subdues mortal men and birds in air, and the creatures on land and sea. Grant me a song. Stir up my sweetest passions. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my daughter-in-law you're talking about.
I could move, I'd deliver. You wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix! Uh, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. <laughs> Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shriveled them up. Oh, would that work? But of course my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. Powerful. So we'll need, a uh, mythical salt water? Oh. Oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You were a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. <laughs> Here's how to conjure seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix ah. wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because yeah. can I have some? Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? It wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. <laughs> 